Hey guys, it's Burgess here and today we're going to talk about the Hosk. Basically in this video I'm going to share basically in my opinion the only Hosk build and yeah let's just go since the Hosk is actually better uh, most of the times as a deputy and but there is one case that he can be great commander and I will show you the build just because as deputy he actually give 50% more a normal attack that can go up to 40% Hosky is absolutely great hero no wonder I mean he is from the VIP chest <laughs> so let's go and actually check out the talents I actually prefer to use and this is most of the precision <laughs> this is basically the talent and some of the overall of course starting with the uh, foundational talents we're going to go with the attack and the march speed I don't know maybe there is a case when the tank is actually infantry and you're facing darkling patros dank creatures where you don't actually need any kind of march speed but definitely most of the times uh, from the foundational talents uh, people will go with this overall speed which is march speed of course overall healing is also uh, also the talents that we need we don't care about the gathering or darkling damage of course for the gathering heroes this is what you, you have to pick anyway we're going to arrow of precision your uh, legion do two percent more normal attack and ignore one percent of the enemy defense when in battle really great talent and finally we have opened the core talents which is precision attack based talents focusing on enchanting normal attacks rally focusing on commanding rally armies now i have to say a few words about the rally the rally is not actually <laughs> what people actually expect maybe only the uh epic talents is actually rally related if you see the rest of the talents they are just there's basically no rally is is burning damage in um time the city basically increasing the time with four percent the burning time of the city which is absolutely funny and absolutely pointless in my opinion so after we open the core talents we're going to go with the precision of course first we're going to go with the increase the attack of your legion units by two percent again precision is attack based based talents focused on enchanting normal attacks so we're going to go with basically legion attack and this is adrenaline rush your legion do four percent more normal attack damage of course we have some march speed here or taking less hero skill damage but we don't care about this we definitely want this for juicy more normal attack damage uh your legion takes uh, less damage of course this uh your legion do 0 0.8 more counter attack damage here again I'll go with uh, your legion do 1% less hero skill damage but their attack is increased by 2.5% now some people may argue argue uh, with was word to be this uh, talent will be replaced with was word but Hosk are actually hero that don't have any attack I mean uh, any damaging skill hero, uh, rage skill is basically his uh, skill is boosting the status the damage the hp and so on so i think this was this one is better of course if you go with the precision with the nico definitely is better this one but since the hosk don't have any type of damaging skills i would prefer going with this one now from the these two talents is when you're launching normal attack your legion has 10 percent chance to do hero skill damage damage factor 150 or you can go invisible uh, when launching a normal attack your legion has 10% chance to get onslaught, um, onslaught increasing their normal attack by 8% for 5 seconds I'll go with this just because every 10 hits I'll go with this um, extra 8% more normal damage and 10 hits can be done uh, like 10 seconds so half of the time you're going to actually have this extra eight um, percent now this is not good about the nico uh i would just compare the, with the nico just because nico is actually the other hero that i use precision 
uh, just because Nico actually have from his talents when he fire up his rage skill to get this also out where he actually get 10% for 5 seconds so for Nico this is the talent for Hosk this is the talent I know it's little different between these two heroes but yeah some of the heroes have specific things that other one don't have it and that's why the the talents are a little different so going further here is your legend do 10% more normal attack damage when their unit count is above 50% now <laughs> I always try when fighting behemoths to actually keep my hero above 50% and yeah definitely this is one of the things you have to do I already have a video about explaining how I do big damage but one of the secrets is basically you have to keep your legion full uh, if you get 10% less legion you're doing basically 10% less damage so you have to go and actually get a healing stone to heal these uh, troops and so on the best way is basically to position yourself the right way so you don't get any damage so you don't have to chase any healing stones and as I said if your legion is uh, if you have less legion you do less damage so definitely I know how to uh, protect myself and I will go with this one 10% more normal attack damage going further here I actually pick some hero that launching a normal attack has 10% chance to get 50 rage and after this one is when casting rage skill your legion has 25% chance to get on swamp, increasing their normal attack the de attack damage by 10% for 5 seconds again I try to get this on swamp swamp <laughs> I don't know if I pronounced the word right but I'll try to get this extra normal attack from both these two skills just because it's absolutely great now it's not same like what the Hosk actually have uh, here the attack bonus is actually Keen, Vigor and Rampage which is uh, different from the Onswall so yeah this is uh, basically what I'm going to do next this town Force of Will and finally we have our latest uh, epic talents is Mark of War increase the attack of your legion by 0.5% every 10 seconds up to maximum 3% now 10 seconds you actually need 6 times to proc so basically 60 seconds 1 minute so you can hit this 3% and till the end of the battle you're going to have this 3% this is especially for the behemoths I think pretty nice one is because till the end of the battle you're going to have this but I prefer to go with this one is when launching normal attack your legion has 15% chance to trigger additional normal attack this effect can be triggered once every 20 seconds so every one minute I'm going to go get like three extra attacks which is absolutely great and this is basically pure pure more damage it's not like 3% it's extra attacks so yeah definitely I would prefer going with with this one uh, because for this one I have to make 100 attacks and I will get damage like 103 attacks so in this case 100 attacks is close to 2 minutes and here just for 2 for 1 minute I can get uh, 3 attacks or maybe minute and 10 seconds something like this so this so far for the precision for the husk now I don't have anything on the rally of course there is pretty nice stuff I think there was one second no no I think I'm in wrong it's basically here this town now here again I'll go with the HP basically you can escape going with the HP increasing the HP of your legion by 2% now here I go with the attack, increase the attack of your legion by 2%. We get some march speed, we get some defense, but definitely I prefer more attack. I want to make us aggressive as much as I can. And here is your legion do 0.8 more hero skill damage. Again, Hosk don't do any kind of hero skill damage. Maybe his deputy can do hero skill damage, but imagine to actually put talents on something that just one of your two heroes are going to use I don't think this is a good idea 
that's why I go with this one. Adrenaline Rush, your Legion do 4% more normal attack damage. Absolutely great. And this one is increasing the maximum Legion capacity by 300, basically 1500, which is again great, especially when the Hosk actually have uh, this uh, skill here, which is uh, increase maximum Legion capacity by 3000, can go to 15000. Uh, absolutely great spell, in my opinion. In combination with the precision that is great for the PvE, I think Kosk is absolutely great. Now, you can use him against the Behemoth and this type of work. I'm not so sure he is good in the uh, PvP. Only as your deputy, if you use him, for example, Kosk with Emrys, uh, with the Cavalry, I think they are absolutely great combo. There is, uh, of course, many examples where you can use Hosk, but again, in 90% of the cases, you're going to use him as a deputy. And here we have um, where he is a commander. This is the Dawan tree. It basically for the Behemoth, for example, that you want to actually have. So yeah, I guess this will be for this video, guys. If you enjoyed, hit one like, subscribe, and see you in the next video.